Hi Dresser Kitties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw best friends going to school. So let's get started. To draw these two cute girls, let's first start by drawing the girl on the left. So let's come right here and I'm going to start right here and just give myself a point. And this is going to be the top of her head, right in the center. And I'm going to come down, basically draw the top of her head. I'm just going to give it a little dent in the center. But you don't have to, you can just make it an oval. And I'm going to bring this down to create her head. So it's basically drawing an oval. Bring it down. So I have created this oval and then now I'm going to come about right here and stop now that I'm the same level and I'm going to draw a big curve right here for the backpack. So this way we can cheat a little bit and not have to draw too many details. So it's a really big backpack and it's covering her neck area. So let's bring this down a bit more. So we're going to start to draw the backpack over here. We're just going to get wider as we come down. So a nice big backpack and about right there I'm going to bring this in and connect at the bottom there. From there let's give this girl some pigtails and so I'm going to come right here on the side and just draw a curve right here and I'm going to pop this out to draw her ponytail right here and same thing here and now that we have our pigtails in let's come back right here and I'll just draw some curves for some details or you can do this when you're um, coloring so it's not such a harsh black line and then from there, maybe in the center, you could put a little line in the center. And um, then from there, let's come to the bottom of this backpack. So it's kind of covering um, her back. So let's come about right here in the center underneath the backpack. And I'm going to draw a curve right here. And we're going to start her legs. So let's come to the sides right here. And let's work on this leg first since this is the straighter one. And I'm going to bring down a pair of um, her legs, so a pair of pants. And as we come down here, I'm just going to wobble a little bit and connect. And then right here, just draw for the back of her shoe, just a little angle, and then connect it. Then on the other foot, we're going to come out with a slight curve and kind of like right here where her knees would be, um, where they would bend. Let's come down, but right here I'm going to stop and draw her foot, the back of her foot. So it's just a curve and we're going to angle this, give it a little curve and back. Just drawing this shape right here and then just connect everything. So just a very simplified way of making it look like her foot is bent and she's um, running a little bit. So then right here, I'm just going to put a straight line down the center. And then for her arms, since this backpack is really big, it's covering her shoulders and her neck. I'm going to come right here just imagining her shoulders and about right here. I'll pop out her arm. It's bent in right there. And then the other arm is going to come out about right here. So, and then her sleeves are right here. There. So let's come back in and put in some details on this backpack. Come in with a curve for the top right here. And at the bottom. So I just really hope this inspires you to draw your best friend <laughs> going to school. You and your best friend to so maybe another pocket here and draw your backpack however it is. And 
Let me beers and put another pocket here. There's so many possibilities, right? So, um, let me put a heart right here to decorate it on this part. And that's for one backpack. So then now to draw the other girl, I'm just going to leave this for now and I'm just going to imagine them holding hands. So two hands so then her head's going to be about right here. So if you're too close that's fine or if you're farther apart it's just her hands are going to be outstretched more but if she's closer your hands are going to be more angled. So don't worry too much about it but just approximate and I'm going to start about right here. So about the same height, I'm going to go ahead and draw a curve for her head. So for this girl, I'm just having her hair down. So once again, just kind of like imagining an oval. And then about right here, I'm going to kind of tuck it in a little bit. So you know, this kind of weird shape that I'm going to draw, just imagining her hair. And I'll just start to zigzag a little bit right here. And come in, give it some curl, I mean some strands, and then just pop it out about right here. So just nice long wave right here. There. And if you're using a pencil, you can just always just draw over just like this head and then add the strands of her hair. That makes it a little bit easier. From there, let's draw her backpack as well. So same thing, about right here. I'm going to start in here, right under. And give her a big backpack once again. So we don't have to draw too many details. And about the same spot, go ahead and bring it in. And just like the other girl, let's come to the center of her. And about right here. Just give myself a curve and we're just going to change it up. So her leg, straight leg, will be on this side. So let's draw this side first. Come down, so we want about the same level. And for her, I decided to just give her some three-quarter pants. And then her legs. So just want to make sure we end about the same area. Once again, curve and then just simple parish back of her shoe and connect. And now to draw the other side, so let's come down. And once again, same thing about right here. And for her foot, I'm going to put a foot right here. It's just a little bit higher. Just change it up a little bit. Right there for the back. And then bring this down right here. Angle a little bit in her knee area and then connect. And connect this part. So hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> there. So it might be a little low. So now you know what? I'm going to bring this up a little bit more. There. Well, I'll just come in here real quick. And wipe this part out. From there, let's come back to the center right here and draw a line right here. And let's see, we could, um, but let's decorate her backpack once again. So same thing at the bottom. Just gonna give it a big curve. And maybe this backpack, we can just put a big curve right here for a big pouch. And maybe another curve. And two going this way. And let's see here, maybe a little pocket right here. And of course, let's put a heart in here. 
to decorate it. Okay, so then now for her shoulder, so just imagine her, about her head is about this much, her head, neck, so let's say about right here. I'm just gonna pop out her shoulders. So curve, and then I'm just gonna give her a pair of short sleeves for her shirt. And this is the other side. So just using that curve, I'll come right here and add the other sleeve and then her arm is going to come out and I'll bend it and bring it in. So just an indication of the other arm. So now for them to connect, let's bring this down to the center. So I'm going to draw her arm first. So let's say about right there and connect. And so let's draw her hands as simplified. We come right here. We angle this. And right here it's gonna be a little straighter and then connect. And then whatever space you have left, imagine this coming in and just have them touch. There. So hopefully that's just a much simpler way to have them look like they're holding hands. And that's pretty much it, except I'll add a big heart right here in the center to connect everything um, for these two BFFs running to school hand in hand. I really hope this draw inspires you and definitely let me know in the comments below who is your best friend and who you would be holding hands up running to school with. Thanks so much for watching and if you love this please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Draw so Cute videos. See you later.